Hi everyone, welcome to Axai Video Support Training. In this video, I'm going to show you how to upgrade Axai Smart Connector, which is a crucial step in ensuring the security of your organization network. Every year, new versions of Smart Connectors are released, and upgrading to the latest version can improve the performance, enhance the capability, and arrest any security vulnerabilities that may exist in the older version, such as Log4j. And this guide will outline the necessary steps to upgrade Axi Smart Connector using two methods, locally and remotely. With the locally methods, we will access directly to the server where the connector is installed and upgrade from that server. In this case, let's take an example with this syslog connector 514. This connector installed with uh, version 8.1 and now I wish to upgrade it to the latest version 8.4. In order to upgrade this connector locally, I will need to do the first step is to stop the service of this connector. The reason why we need to stop the service of this connector is because when the connector starts to upgrade, it will rename this current folder and change this to another name. If you still not the service running, it will keep using the file in the bin folder and the framework will not be able to change the name and your operation will be failed. So the first step we need to do here is to stop the service of the smart connector. Then after that, we will go to the location where the framework version star and I will choose the framework version 8.4 which is the latest one right click and run as administrator to start the operation The pop wind installation appear. I will press next. In this pop windows, it will ask for the installation part of the smart connector, and I will choose the installation part, copy it, and paste it here. And press next. If your smart connector is <laughs> suitable to upgrade, then you will see this pop previous installation file update possible. This means your smart connector is able to operate to the next version and click OK. And create icon next install. Like you can see the after the installation start the old current folder now has been renamed to another name with the uh, <coughs> name x 83 s 7 This is the build number of the previous version 8.1 and use it will zip this folder into a zip file and create a new current folder here. This x 83 s 7 zip file is the old version 8.1 and you can use this folder to direct your smart character to the previous version. If the operation fail, or if you operate the smart character to the higher version, but it doesn't work as expected, so you can use this zip folder to extract it and 
roll back to the previous version. Okay, so the operation has finished now. I will click next. And now we will up start to operate the connector in the final phase. Finished. Okay, in here after the operate, it will back to the configuration of the connector. If you have any configuration that want to change, then you can apply the change here. As why well, you can choose the option I do not want to change any setting and press next. Then finish. And now the smart connector is already upgraded to the latest version and if you open the current folder you will see the version is now up to 8.4 so this is the way that we upgrade the smart connector locally and after upgrade you can now start the service the smart connector Okay, this is uh, how we operate the smart connector locally. And next, we will go to smart connector through uh, <coughs> Axi management. This upgrade uh, remotely can help you to save the time when you have so many connectors in a server or in so many different server and you cannot access directly to those server one by one to perform the upgrade and then the remote upgrade through the RMC will help you to save time without access to the server directly everything uh, you need to perform is through the RMC web UI and like you can see in here I have uh, sorry, I have nine connector that already add to the RMC here. I want to check the version. Choose the location of the connector. In this case, I will choose the connector windows. Okay, in here I have one, two, three, four connector with the version 8.2 and 8.4 here. And I wish to upgrade this connector to the latest version 8.4. In order to upgrade the smart connector from the RMC, you will need a specific operation file called the AUP file. And you need to upload it to the repository of the RMC. The AUP file you can download from the software support portal. And when you finish download it, you need we need to upload it to the repository of the RMC by go to the repository operate file. In this repository of my assignments center i have upgrade upload the aup file here and it already exists here so now i can be able to upgrade my smart connector to the latest version using this aup file uh, now in order to upgrade my smart connector i will go to the node management Now I will choose the location that I want to operate my character. I will choose the container tree. And in order to operate the smart character, I will choose the operate button here. You may wondering if we need to stop the service of the smart character before operate remotely, and the answer is. No, because w if you stop the service of the smart connector, then it will not be able to communicate with the RMC anymore, and you will not be able to perform the operation. This is the difference between the local operate and remote operate.
or the smart connector. Okay, when you click to the upgrade button, it will direct, redirect you to the upgrade console, and there's a warning message here where it shows you that it failed to connect to marketplace to receive past the upgrade version because we don't have the configuration for the marketplace here, so we will skip this and click OK. In here, you will see we have two upgrade types that we can choose. First is parser upgrade, and second is framework upgrade. In here, because I will upgrade to the latest version 8.4, so I will choose the parser upgrade. And I, because I only have one of the framework AUP5 8.4 that upload in the repository, like you can see in the previous screen. So it will only display 8.4 framework here, and I will choose this framework. Then I will click upgrade button. A new upgrade edition windows will be appear here, and it will display the upgrade progress. Let's back to the connector server and check to see how the operation start. In here, I upgrade the connector three in the container three. So and is a database connector so. The right one should be Mac APO. You can see start operating and is currently creating new folder here. We will monitor the operation through this console. Okay, now you can see the state of the operate process is successful and to check the state of the connector, we will go to the location and the host of the connector. You can see from the MC that part, it shows a version now up to 8.4. And if we go to the server where the connector is done, you will see there's a new current folder has been created and the previous version has been track to a zip file here and the new version of this connector is now way to 8.4 Okay, now I can see the smart connector is running and it's working fine after the revelation now. So that's how we upgrade the smart connector to the higher version using local and remote methods. Thank you for watching and if you have any questions regarding the smart connector operation, feel free to contact us by opening the case through the support portal. We will always be able to assist you.